Hey, guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna make some gloop stuff. Today we're gonna make some like putty, you know, Play-Doh putty gloop stuff. Gloop? Yeah. So, what I have is some Elmer's glue, and I have some Stay Flow liquid starch, and some food coloring. These are also food coloring, um, depending on how many you want to use or what colors, and a measuring cup. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take equal parts liquid starch and glue. Now, on Pinterest, this is where I'm getting it from, they had it uh, liquid, they had clear, clear no, no, Elmer's no, glue no, and not no, no, no. like the white no. kind. So I have the white kind. Hopefully it works. We're going to try it out and see how it turns out. I'm sure he'll have fun playing in gloop even if it's lumpy. <laughs> so I'm going to start off measuring the glue because that's what I have more of. So I'm just going to take the lid off all the way and see how much I get out of this thing. So it looks like I have two thirds of a cup, pretty easy. Here's my two thirds of a cup. I'm just gonna pour that in. is stay flow and you can get it anywhere in the laundry section. A car! Oh, we did. And I'm just gonna pour that into a car! A car! A car! A car! Can I do the same thing with this? A car! Ooh, I can tell it's already starting to work. suggested to just work it through with your fingers so it's not uh, lumpy uh, so ooh. I'm just gonna use it with this really quick I'm going to take off my wedding ring and not... Ooh! Oh boy. So what happened is it started getting really, really stringy. You can kind of see what it's doing. It's just like, I don't know, super stringy, kind of weird in its stringiness. But... What I did to try and help that is they actually said you might need to put a little bit more if you're using the white glue you might need to put a little bit more white glue than the starch so it's not quite equal parts but it's pretty close so I put in a little bit more white glue and it helped a lot it was it was like string cheese like it was so weird and it still is kind of but it's a little bit more like clumped together so I'm gonna add a little bit more even now this is what I have. And I think that will help it. So 
Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's helping it a lot more. Oh, so this is fun. It's fun. a little bit more white glue than it does the clear glue. Don't ask me why, but... whites or something. Okay, so now I've got this all done. I think I have it to the consistency that I want it to be at. It's really fun <laughs> to play with. Um, okay, so I've just mixed it together. I think this is about exactly what we want. It's just very an, a very interesting texture, but it's fun. And I think he's going to love it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of food coloring in there and I'm going to work it through. Oh, got it. I'm just putting some food coloring drops in there. My hands are all painted, as you can see right now. Can you pull your chair over here and sit down, please? So for the first little bit, I'm just using the spatula because... I don't really want to get it on me when it's so potent. It's not really an easy thing to mix. It's more like a kneading thing. It doesn't, it's like putty now. So I'm going to take it out. And I mean, I can knead it. Or just stretch it kind of make it go together you can kind of see what it's looking like kind of like pulling taffy Ew. weird does it look weird yeah yeah oh i bet rubber gloves would be really nice for this <laughs> yeah What is that? Balloon. Balloon. Good job. And what do you do with your little foot on the table? Ah. Naked baby? Are you a naked baby? Are you a naked baby? Are you a naked baby? Okay. So overall, I think it was a success. This is really fun to play with. And I mean, as you can see, he's already starting to... <laughs> Get the hang of it, I think. Hey, that looks like a T bone steak. That one. Yeah, what is that? Book. Oh, I think that's a little bit of red that got mixed in with the green. Cool. I think he likes it. It was a success, and it was really easy. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And I did get a little bit of food coloring on my hand, but you can fix that just by wearing some rubber gloves. Or, you know, I don't really mind because I'm going to go and be a witch tonight. Anyway. <laughs> so if I look a little bit gross, who cares? More for the costume, right? So, um, oh yeah. We're going to be doing lots more videos. I think this was a really fun kid craft. I... I love it. He's already having so much fun. Just like stretching it all over the place. Is that fun? Yeah. You make it a bikini? <laughs> cool, James. Anyways, it works with it works with the white uh, Elmer's glue. One thing that I would suggest though is don't use up all your Elmer's glue and put equal parts with 
starch first. Leave a little bit of Elmer's glue over so that you can add it if it's not the right consistency. And you just kind of work at it until it is the right consistency. And it's really fun. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. We have tons of stuff that's coming up that's really fun. Check out the Halloween videos that we've been doing lately. Those are so fun and we have done a lot with those. And then, yeah, watch our videos, subscribe, and make some goop for your kids. Oh, today, actually, the reason why I did it, I was like, I'm sick and tired of him watching TV. And, like, he needs to get out more <laughs> type, of a day, <laughs> type of a day, you know. He needs to do a little bit more, but I think he's, I think he is. And this was successful, so. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Subscribe. Cool, that makes a cool color. It's like Christmas. Christmas.